What is going on fam? Welcome back to the channel. Now it is a blistering hot day, but you know what? We are gonna jump in these black predators and see how we go. This is the play test and I'm very excited to try the preds with the tongue. You guys know I've done play tests now on the other two models. This one being by far my favorite with looks. Um, and let's see if that stays the same with performance as well. Now getting the pred on is actually quite straightforward. It's a very uh, with this tongue construction, there's a very large gap for getting in the boots. Uh, I do have Wii Foot Grip Socks on right now, which have grips on the outside and the inside. One feature that I really love about these, they are super, super comfortable. These are the thin version. You can get 20% off thin, thick, short, long, whatever you want in the description box below. But there you go right away. Look at how they fit, man. These just, the, the hybrid touch upper, Hybrid Touch 2.0 actually, is absolutely fantastic. I think this is one of the best new materials on the market and I really, really hope for Adidas sake that they keep this around for a very reasonable amount of time until they can make tiny subtle upgrades that'll give this boot another level of performance. Now, they look iconic, they feel fantastic in the midfoot. Obviously, as we, as we start to wear them on this artificial ground, which I wanted to get into quickly. Um, we'll kind of see how the performance of the sole plate is. Fit and sizing straight away, right off the bat, nine US is the way to go for me, which is true to size. These fit right perfectly. I've got just a tiny bit of room on the toe, which is perfect, no complaints there. So I would go true to, true to your US sizing is uh, gonna be the best, I think, for most people. Now, if you have really wide feet, I would just be careful. The midfoot of these, when you first start to play in them, can be a bit snug. And you'll probably see me take these off uh, during the course of this play test because of that reason. They do have a little bit of extra structure here through the midfoot and it's a little bit narrower through that midfoot so as you start to break them in they feel great for somebody like me who has a really wide midfoot in this section here um, but for some people who have super super wide feet in that midfoot just be careful as you're breaking those in but there's a good look at the boots i think they look absolutely fantastic i'm really excited to get these on it's quite a windy day today so i'm really hoping the audio doesn't completely go to crap but we'll see, let's hop into it. First order of business, just getting a little bit of footwork going. <laughs> um, for those of you who are wondering about the warm up, I am filming two videos back to back, so uh, you're not gonna get a warm up, but make sure you do a dynamic warm up. I'm already a little bit sweaty and warm from the other session that I did, which is the Copa Pure 2 Plus. I just filmed that one. Um, so yeah, so uh, this is just getting into a little bit of speed work and just making sure that I'm staying really sharp and ready to go for some of the footwork going on. But I wanted to give obviously some up close and personal with footwork with these, but sole plate performs super, super well straight off the bat. One thing with uh, Adidas football boots now is they all sort of have the same structure when it comes to the sole plate. So other than maybe the X, even though the stud layout is actually quite similar, the sole plates of the Predator and the Copa are very, very similar, very similar. And I would say that this one feels, I think I like this one a little bit more just because of the way that these studs are kind of star shaped. And so they're a little more aggressive than those half moon shaped studs. Um, I really like how these fit and feel on feet. And I think that with the elasticity and the quality of the upper makes for a really awesome experience. In the review, I described this upper almost like a rubber band and that might be kind of confusing, but I want to explain it in this video, especially as we start to do the play test stuff, because I think this upper provides one of the most unique experiences on feet and it stretches out to accommodate to your foot shape, but then sort of feels like it wraps around your foot in a way that is almost elastic in nature. Like it really does kind of snap back in place to hold your foot. It's very subtle and you really only notice it if you wear a ton of different boots and materials, like some of the boot reviewers and myself on the on YouTube. But 
I would say these really do provide like as you're kind of planting and going, especially around cones like this, agility or cutting with a football, it's really unique the way that these fit and wrap your foot. Yeah, the black boot on this warm of a day is gonna be a struggle, I think. It's, uh, my toes are starting to burn a little bit already and we're only like 10 minutes into the session. <laughs> Jeez Louise, well, doing it for the tubes. <laughs> Yeah, good, good structural stability. Um, they definitely have minor differences with the laced model that doesn't have the tongue. I'm gonna leave the laceless model out of this, out of this review for the most part, just because I think it's, it's quite a bit different being laceless and also um, having a knit in the midfoot. But because of the way that this tongue sort of forces the lacing system area, ooh, geez, uh, lacing system area a little bit further down. So in the, in the laced non-tongue version, this material, the tongue comes all the way up to the top of the foot or the bottom of the ankle, which gives you just that little bit of extra lockdown. Okay, so just to illustrate this, here are the boots. Now, most boots will come all the way up to the line where my finger is. These, because of the way that this tongue gets pulled down that way, they kind of hold there. And so obviously more ankle mobility means less lockdown overall, which you're sacrificing a little bit of that, but I will say they're quite impressive as far as lockdown goes. It's just not quite as aggressive as the one that has the non-tongue, but the laced version. One of the things I love most about these boots, and I found that to be true with the, uh, the two other models as well, is how seamless the dribbling experience is, despite there being a really significant amount of grip on the instep of the midfoot and the forefoot area. Now, that happens because the rest of the upper doesn't have the grip elements, right? So you have the grip elements here, but you're gonna be dribbling most of the time in this area. So you're only really gonna get, I mean, it's one thing if you like drag the ball with the inside of your foot, but that only happens every so often where most of the time, you're dribbling with this part of the foot, which I think they've done really well to keep really kind of bland and open pretty much, which is great for the on feet and on ball experience. <laughs> like I don't feel, oh goodness, tripping over myself. Like I don't feel really any, any spots in that upper where it's too grippy. It has like, even though these technically compare with something like a GX2, I find that the grip elements on these for shooting is incredible, but it's not overwhelming actually when, you, when you're dribbling around, which is quite remarkable for a boot like this. All right, um, boots are gonna come off really quick. It is really hot outside, like it's really, really hot outside, and my feet are burning. Um, for your information though, which might be helpful, I'm not taking them off because I need, like they're hurting my feet, which is actually quite, uh, that's also pretty remarkable. Um, they are fitting my feet really, really well. No issues with break-in, at least at this point in the video, but because it is a black upper and there is no breathability, which that's something for you guys, if you guys are interested in an upper that actually like breathes and is, you know, yeah, go with regular leather or knit. That'll breathe a little bit better. A boot like this has zero breathability. So because it's a just a flat synthetic material, your feet are gonna sweat quite a bit and they're gonna burn like a MF in heat like this. I mean, we're probably 30 plus degrees right now centigrade and it's on artificial ground. So I am roasting right now. Um, having black boots is not exactly the, <laughs> the best way to train on this, but at the end of the day, it's kind of all what you prefer. I really like this colorway, although I will say the colorway that absolutely blows my socks off, which I'm really excited for, they'll probably be out now that this video is being edited and like uploaded. My guess is that that all white with the silver accent colorway is gonna be out. That is sexy. In my opinion, even though these have a classic look to them, the all white, 
I'm gonna try to get a pair of those because I think those are gonna be so good looking. All right, feet have cooled off just a little bit, but man, black boots, not the vibe. I should go do this, uh, do these types of videos in the morning when it's not screaming hot outside. I'm also, I was also dumb, well, not dumb. I just had a bunch of meetings in the morning and we're filming this at like three in the afternoon. So it is like the hottest point in the day as well. But you know what? That's my own fault. So here we are. We're getting it done anyway. But yeah, I mean, look, I, I think Predator Elite, which now I've figured out that Pred Strike would have been a way better name for this line, like Predator Pred Strike. But unfortunately, they're just calling this the Predator Elite, which I think is kind of weird. But whatever, Predator Elite with the tongue, the FT, fold over tongue version, Ew, we're, we're very, like, I'm close, I'm already, it's freaking January, and I'm already, like, let's make a Best Boots of 2024 video before all the new stuff comes out, because these are going to win straight away. GX2 will be a close second, but my oh my, these are unbelievable, unbelievable. Now, for those of you who are boot nerds, and you enjoy watching kind of the shenanigans that go on in the boot market, watch what happens to not only the value of these fold over tongue models, but also what happens with some of the other brands because what will happen is because Adidas did such a brilliant job marketing these ones and really the other companies had nothing to say about it. Like there was no rebuttal. GX2 definitely didn't have the hype as good as GX1, nor did it have the hype of the Predator watch what happens in the next couple months with marketing material especially as the euros happen this summer for other boots on the market because my guess is everyone's going to try to compete with the success that the predator had and just as an overall product i think these are going to be go down as one of the better boots of all time for a lot of people because of how iconic the design is they brought back the tongue hybrid touch 2.0 upper is freaking brilliant and they just fit feel perform really really well overall and i think that's gonna you know this product is gonna be is gonna go down as one of the best new eras of football boots in my opinion what's crazy to think too is if hybrid touch 2.0 is this good imagine how good they could make the speed well what am i saying it's not speed portal anymore it's crazy fast um, imagine how good crazy fast would be if they made crazy fast out of hybrid touch 2.0 just a thinner version of it, like without any internal padding or anything. That would be unbelievable. I reckon they would, like, not only would you bring back F50 vibes, but you'd also just absolutely crush everything else on the market. Like, I think Vapor would have a really hard time keeping up. And man, what a boot that would be. Like, imagine reintroducing a carbon fiber sole plate with a lighter variant of Hybrid Touch 2.0, a knit tongue, and laces. Oh my God, that would be an insane, insane speed boot. Like, it'd basically be the 2014 Audi Zero remake that I have in the checkered white and black, but imagine that, but with a lacing system area that had knit in it. Oh my days, like I can't even, that's like, that might be like a perfect boot in my, in my book. Cause that 2014 remake was unbelievable. And that was very similar to this. Ooh, gotta go the other way. Oh, there we go. Getting caught a little bit on the, there we go. Yeah, most of the touches you get with this, super seamless, despite all the grip that's happening. Last little bit here. Feel free to take any of these drills, by the way. Good for like warm up dribbling, getting your touch right, all that stuff. And away we go. Now, as I pull, ooh, as I pull the ball back inside, 
it definitely makes a difference with that grip element. So I do think if you're not keen for any grip, stay away from these. But if you are interested in a little bit of that grip coming side to side, you should be more than happy with these. Like this kind of movement, you can definitely feel it, especially because it's a warm day. So it's sticky, grip is sticky, ball is sticky. So that's gonna mean some great things for shooting. But most of the other time, like if I'm coming around here in a figure eight, I don't feel any grip element at all because I'm just driving. And then as I come into this way, okay, I start to feel it a little bit, but it's actually pretty manageable, which I'm a bit surprised about. I thought it was gonna be, especially on a day like today, a little bit overkill. All right, little 1v1 to a pass. So I'm coming down here, little juke, go to my left or my right. And then all I'm doing is just passing it in as I talk about, hopefully get some uh, thoughts on passing, which so far have been very, very, very seamless. Very much like no nonsense. I really enjoy passing a ball. They feel super clean. The, the grip elements, that strike skin on, that actually come up closer to my ankle area, <laughs> don't have any effect on the way that I'm passing the ball. Now, a, a ball like that, yes, you're gonna get a little bit of extra bend if you try to whip that, but just from a straight passing perspective, it's really not gonna affect, <laughs> like coming up, boom, like that, you're really not gonna get any adverse negative effects from having the strike skin in that passing area because the upper is thin enough, feels amazing to pass with. And that's one of the things that I think they executed really well with this boot. Ooh, I'm gonna fix that cone. One of the things they executed with this boot really well was the way that the grip is sort of pretty seamless as far as its integration into the upper. Of course, of course, of course, you're gonna notice it when you're taking a shot, bending the ball, especially crossing, whipping a ball, you're really gonna notice that extra bit of swaz. But from a just general like dribbling and yeah, oh wow. Yeah, like general dribbling and passing, super, super clean, super easy. And that's what I want, like I don't want I don't want grip to compromise any sort of any sort of passing. That was a little bit more than I wanted to, but um, I don't want the grip to compromise anything, and it really doesn't on the Predator Elite. The Control Frame 2.0 also feels pretty lovely. Also feels pretty balanced under feet. I don't find that there's <clears throat> any issues. Like yeah, <coughs> excuse me, on a pitch like this. It's pretty worn down turf, it's not very nice. The field up there that's actually being used right now that I normally would film um, the play tests on is much better, much better turf. Uh, and this, these would have no issues. Now, if you play on a little bit crappier turf like this one, I would say it teeters. So if you're somebody who manages to wear FG on AG like fairly often or all the time, you're going to have no issues. In fact, I think these are going to feel really good for you. But if you are somebody, God, that just comes off the foot so good. If you are somebody who really needs that, like your sole plate to match the surface you're playing on, it's sad. They don't make a fold over tongue version of the AG models of either of them of the like MG or the AG, which they just came out with, but you're gonna get the same on feet experience with a quote unquote safer sole plate. And for me, no issues there if you wanna go for those. They'll be the same, very, very similar playing experience. Really the only thing that you're gonna miss is the, the look and kind of heritage of the fold over tongue. And that's really it. I'm, I would say that Realistically, the extra strike skin that appears on the tongue, on the medial side of the tongue, super, super, like it's not relevant. Like when you're striking a ball, you're gonna get the strike skin on the normal non tongue is gonna give you plenty, plenty of grip. Like you're not gonna notice that change if you go for the AG model. Now, am I somebody who wants an AG model? Not really. 
Um, do I think it's a good option? Absolutely. You guys know the AG model of the GX is what I wore most of the year last year. And those, I swear by those. Not only does they, not only does that sole plate feel really balanced and neutral, but it also just performs really well on AG pitches, better in my opinion than the actual FG sole plate, which is quite aggressive. So I don't know, maybe I'll try them. If you guys, if you guys want me to try the AG model, nice. Um, let me know down in the comment section below. As I said, unfortunately, it's not gonna be the fold over tongue model, which is a bummer, but if you want me to try it out anyway in comparison, let me know. Oh, all right, taking these off one more time before we get into the proper shooting stuff. Um, I would say toes are feeling a little bit cramped. Again, it is super warm outside, so my feet inevitably are swelling right now, which means uh, I'm gonna get probably more hot spots than normal, but that's just kind of name of the game, I guess. Uh, and it's really not that big of a deal. It's just like, okay, take the boots off and on. This is the first time that I've worn them in like a proper session. And so you guys are getting the play test right after the review, which is great. Like I'm not, trying to pat myself on the back. What I'm trying to say is that these are brand new still, and I'm just trying to break them in. But for a boot that is synthetic, is a little bit more narrow in that midfoot area, very impressed with how these are breaking in. I feel like most boots of this style, including other boots from the Adidas brand, like the Copa Pure 0.1 and Plus models, take me much longer for uh, to feel really comfortable in, where as I said before, the, the upper of this, this Hybrid Touch 2.0 upper, really does feel like an elastic band. So it like, it'll stretch to your foot, but then it sort of still has this like locked feeling. So for instance, the um, laced model without the tongue that I have in the Pred Strike colorway, those feel absolutely amazing because they're completely broken in now, but they still feel snug and really closely wrapped. It's like, it's like the material retains some of its stretchiness and stuff, which is pretty, uh, it's, it's pretty remarkable to be honest. I know, it's, <laughs> I feel like remarkable is my word of the day. Uh, comment remarkable down in the comment section below if you got into this point of the video. I appreciate you already. Um, okay, so I'm gonna throw these back on so, and give my feet some time to cool off because it really is like, really really warm but very impressed with the way these break in they feel super nice on feet i've had no issues um well okay i think i have there's a minute 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 most people probably won't notice it tiny bit of slippage in the heel area i do not have any slippage in the non fold over tongue version um so that's just again that extra little bit of lacing real estate that goes higher up your foot really makes a tiny bit of, you know, it really does make that extra little percentage of difference from a lockdown perspective. But overall, the heel area does such a nice job of wrapping your foot in these. I do think these are gonna be uh, really, really nice overall. So for me, man, class, class. Let's get into some shooting. I'm really excited for this. All right, we're just gonna go from straight on. So rolling a ball like right across the 18 and Bang. Oh, these are so good. These are so good. Actually, let's switch sides. Let's go one in each side. Left foot, right foot, left foot, right foot. Left foot, right foot, left. Left cheek, right cheek, right. Ooh, not so good. Uh, I was trying to qu quote some T-Pain there as I'm whipping in some shots. How good is that? I reckon you're not gonna get that from any other boot reviewer on YouTube. Ooh, goodness gracious. All right, focus up, come on. Gotta perform a little bit here. Make it, gotta make these boots look good, hey. Here we go. Nice, love that. Yeah, striking surface feels fantastic. And I will say, even when hitting the ball, so like as I come up for a shot, even as I'm hitting the ball with that strike surface where the strike skin is, it doesn't feel overwhelming to the point where I'm like overly bending a ball in a way that feels unnatural. It really does like, it, it feels way more, natural than I thought it would. Like hitting a, hitting a ball like that that has quite a bit of spin to it doesn't feel like out of the realm of possibility, which is lovely. I feel like predators in the past made you feel, oh, you just get it on target, eh? Um, made you really feel like there was something different about the way you strike, strike uh, struck a ball. Wow, I can't speak English either. Um, yeah, here we go. All right, now I'm gonna try to whip it into 
like across my body. So as I'm coming this way, I'm gonna try to whip it into that post, into the near post, or I guess far post as I come across the center line. So here, boom, yeah, boom, I love that. That strike with these boots feels so good, so good. All right, here we go. Cross, oh, feeling good. All right, here we go, last one on this side. Cross my body. Yeah, love that, dang. Power boot for the win, power boot for the win, holy moly. So now the question becomes, what does this compete with? So GX2, I reckon, control slash power boot. I reckon, lovely. I reckon New Balance Tequila. Like this sits among some of, nice. Some of, if not the best boots on the market, which is kind of wild. And, ooh, a little bit too central, but you get the idea. A um, little bit, like these compete, let's do one more on that side. These compete with like some of the best boots, in my opinion, on the market. Tequila, outrageous comfort, unbelievable sole plate, and just like one of the best knits that's ever been created as far as comfort and performance go. GX, fantastic upper, really, really amazing grip experience, unlike anything else on the market. And, you know, suffers a little bit with the Luna sole plate, but, oh. Yeah, nice, but man, they all feel, they're all like in the same category, but as far as an out and out power boot, I think, I think these might have to take the win. All right, so big question is, who is the Predator Elite FT for? Now, I say it's for somebody who wants a grip experience, period, but who doesn't want grip all the time everywhere. So really the only two boots on the market that are gonna give you a proper like excess amount of grip are gonna be these and the GX2. Now, if you want a boot, ooh, a little bit less, let's go one more on that side. Yeah. Um, now, if you're somebody who doesn't want grip, do not even consider the Predator. I don't care how hype they are. I don't care. Man, a lot. Uh, anyway, I don't care how comfortable and amazing I say they are. If you want grip, get them. If you don't want grip, stay away. And I genuinely don't think there's a wrong answer here because it's all subjective playing experience. Like there are objective features about certain football boots, like grip will give you a little bit of extra pizzazz on your shots if that's what you want. But if you're not interested in that, then subjectively you'll choose something else because you prefer something else and that's okay. But obviously with my kind of pseudo obsession with the GX and the way that it fits and feels and performs, I am somebody who really likes grip elements. So with these, Oh my days, ladies and gentlemen, wow. All right, we are not in the Premier League for that reason. Um, so if you are somebody who, like me, wants that grip element, these very well could end up in game rotation, playing rotation, training rotation, as they have. What's really impressed me about these boots, oy, is not my shooting. Um, what's really impressed me about these boots is the fact that Adidas has a pretty eh leather boot. Like, objectively on paper, it should be really good, but the, the Copa Pure doesn't perform that well. And then the everything except the, the Crazy Fast Plus, the really super, super lightweight model, is really way too stiff and not worth it in my opinion. Unless you fit in it perfectly, and then fair enough, it'll be a great boot for you, but the fact that they came out with this, despite, oh, hello. Despite all those, is pretty impressive to me. And it shows me that Adidas is moving in the right direction as far as kind of what their brand identity is and the way they want to move with their football boots, which I think is combining heritage, F50's coming out soon. Um, 
heritage and also modern technology, which I think this boot absolutely nails. Welcome to Melbourne weather. Freaking windy and crazy sunny at the same time, and then it rains and then it thunderstorms and then it bloody does whatever it wants to. Oh, Kavanaugh, shoot. Holy moly. So that's kind of, for me, what makes this product really, really, oh no. God, that's twice now I've almost hit the camera. Um, that's what really makes this product excellent for me is that like combination of heritage and technology that gives it such a nice fit, feel, and look as well. Nice, we'll end on that one. All right, fam, that is it for the play test of the Predator Elite FT. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. Um, this is a boot that will absolutely be making training rotation on a regular basis. I think these are worthy of all the praise that they're getting realistically. Like, this boot is gonna be very, very difficult to beat just in general for, I think, a lot of people. And I think this is gonna be on the top 10, top five list of 2024 easily, easily, easily. Like, it's definitely top three, I can tell already. In fact, I reckon, unless Vapor, the, so there's a new Adidas Speed Boot coming out, there's a new uh, Vapor coming out, Superfly coming out, so unless those boots are just absolutely out of this world, this Predator is definitely a boot of the year so far. GX2 for me is the boot that I'm gonna pick to wear more often just because that's what I enjoy. I like having grip kind of everywhere. Um, but again, that's a personal preference. Objectively, I think these are just that little bit, like as a holistic product, I think these are unbelievable. They're unbelievable. And it's really cool what Adidas has done here and they've absolutely nailed everything to do with this boot, I think. And heel feels good. The, you know, the lockdown feels good. The comfort feels good. Sizing is true to size, which is great. It makes it really easy for people. Um, it comes in a multitude of different options, which is great. So for those of you who want that, you know, great experience of the new Predator, but you want a laceless experience, they have that for you. And it's not bad. Like it, yeah, it it's, lacks a little bit of lockdown, obviously as a laceless boot, but like it's a cool product. It's really fun to play in. And it's great for like pickup knock around sessions as well, which is awesome. Um, these, the ones with the laces are definitely a tier above in my opinion. And then these ones are, they, they just take the crown. Cause I think with the tongue, they just, they look incredible. They feel incredible and they really are a fun boot to perform in and, and to play in. So regardless of what your level is, whether you're a professional, a semi-pro, an amateur, a youth player, um, an over 50s player, it doesn't matter. Like I would highly recommend buying the Predator Elite FT because it is awesome. And I am really excited to continue to get to know this boot in and out and, and kind of figure out like where some of the drawbacks come from uh, compared to some of the other things on the market. So if you guys are interested in more videos on the Predator Elite, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I will leave a link down below for the Wii Foot. You get 20% uh, off with the, with the link down below in the description. They're awesome grip socks, so I use them every single day. And uh, yeah, that, that concludes the review. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, subscribe to the channel, join the fam. And we're almost, as of the filming of this video, we're almost at 30K, which is pretty cool. So on the way up. As always, be awesome. Take care. I'll see you all in the next video.